let me out alone Cause where you go is where I go I don't need nobody else Okay, so I've made it to Ikea I am so buzzing to be here to see what they've got new in for spring. I've seen their website, they've got a lot of like garden furniture and things like that. So we're gonna go and have a look at that today. And yeah, we might be getting a cheeky spot of lunch. And I'm thinking of contradicting the meatballs on this occasion. I know, controversial, always usually meatballs. However, I've seen they do a lamb shank, which looks really good. And I'm all about the protein at the moment, just finished the gym. So let's head on in and see what is new in store. Here we are back at Ikea. So as you can see, as soon as we walk in, they had a display of some of the items that we're about to see today, the new in summer, spring, summer 2022 garden furniture. As you go upstairs though, of course we have some staple classics. I love this Fedchka, the eucalyptus style hanging plant. This is the best place to go to get your fake hanging plants. They also had these really nice salad scoopers. I was actually in the market to get these and they were only £2.50 for both of them. If you have gold in your interior, these were really beautiful coasters as well and they were £6 for the pack. I always like to mention this sofa when I come in store because this is the sofa I actually have in my house. I have the two-seater and the three-seater, but they do actually do the armchair as well. I really love the armchair. I think that's such a nice sort of cozy reading chair. It's just beautiful. These little side tables I hadn't seen before. I thought they were a great price at 129 And these lights were also really, really nice. I thought they were just very classic and chic, and they were only £50 a piece, which I feel for the quality was actually very good. I spotted these gold accessory things and I didn't actually know what they were but they're actually bookends so this is how they look in a bookshelf and I thought that was quite a nice touch. It's definitely new in Ikea and then of course as you know they've got a lot of textures of the baskets and of course they follow that through their entire theme so this is a white company dupe of the placemats they are four pounds a piece they also had this new in what i hadn't seen before which was a just really good quality like tray it was only 12 pounds but i could just picture that styled up on a bed with like a throw and a little candle on it If you like the wicker, seagrass, and natural materials, this is a new in-plant pot I haven't seen before, which would be great for that fedchka, as you've seen me show earlier, it was only five pounds. And then this is just a little overview of some of the bedside tables, just because I'm in the market right now for a couple of bedside tables, and I love that they're still doing the classic IKEA mom ones, which are so affordable at just 29 pounds. This storage bag has been everywhere. It's only three pounds. And this, honestly, if you're in a bit of an organization situation, go and grab a few of these. They are incredible. I really liked the look and the quality of these coat hangers. You get eight in a pack for just six pounds. They were really like heavy, good quality coat hangers. Affordable as well. Now time to have a little pit stop and grab some lunch before we head into Market Hall. I think I showed you guys this last time, but I couldn't remember. They had this beautiful wine error and it was only nine pounds. And it comes in this beautiful box as well, which just makes it an ideal gifting opportunity. I wouldn't think of Ikea to get a gift, but honestly, earmarking that for Christmas. I think this was also new in. It was a really heavy stone black pestle and mortar, affordable at 10 pounds. And of course, these are my cups. I just like to show you again because you see them over on my home Instagram, but they do the smaller version and the larger version. Here they are side by side, but I hadn't spotted this ribbed glass one before. Ribbed glass is getting really 
really, really trendy. And I actually like the ribbed glass style things for like outdoor dining. I don't know why I associate it. Loved this salad bowl as well. It was huge. It was 15 pounds. And they had these really cute little sauce dippers as well, which would be great for barbecue season. I spotted this new in cup, which is a complete anthropology dupe. It was only £1.50. They're selling things like this in Primark Home, and it's very Zara Home as well. Can't believe IKEA are beating everybody at £1.50. They're even beating Primark at this rate. How lovely are these dressing gowns? These are new in, the two toweled ones are £25, but my favourite one is this waffled, really beautiful beige stone colour, and it was only £19. I was so tempted to get that, but I literally do not need any more dressing gowns. IKEA are also doing the bamboo bath rack. This is £10. I think this is even beating B&M bargains at this point, and they had some beautiful new in sets for the bathroom section, as well as for your office if you want to spruce it up a little bit with maybe some more natural textures textures thought this was really nice. £10 is a little steep but it is quite a staple sort of eye-catching piece so you'd obviously get one and make a feature of it. They also had these sets which I hadn't seen before which might look really nice in an office. They were a three pack for £15 and then as gold is tending to come a lot more in than chrome now this was like one of their wall hanging things that could go really nice as just a piece of art on the wall or you could use it to have like little notes and have it in an office. Let's head into lighting now because I was in the market for a few lights on this occasion. I was really liking the basic lampshades that were linen. I actually feel like I haven't noticed these before. I'm not too sure if they're new in. You also had the seagrass lampshade that is ever so popular and the little version of the floor lamp that I showed you, but this is the little table lamp, which is so adorable if you got them to match. These are quite popular at the moment with the black metal and the Scandi vibes. But if you're in the market for something a little bit more modern with the chrome effect, this light that I've seen here reminded me of something that you would get in Dunelm with the round bulbs and the chrome. I think I swear I've seen something like that in Dunelm before. Following with the ribbed theme, they had this beautiful light as well that was like a smoked glass with the antique brass gold at the top. It was only £22 and then they had the her style light which I was actually coming in store to grab and I've showed you guys before which is £27 and the light next to it as well which is an absolute steal for this kind of light at £50. You could totally spray paint that as well by the way even though it is black. Also who knew Ikea did so so many different types of light bulbs. If you're looking to get a feature light bulb for a maybe very basic light, this is a really good way to spruce up a light really affordably. For the IKEA outdoor living, they have brought back their lanterns this year, but with a different style. So they've got these black and white ones, which are nine pounds. And then for 10 pounds, I actually preferred this white one here. I think these are beautiful to have outdoors just with a candle lit and while you're sort of having, you know, drinks outside in the sunset with your friends. That's how I picture those lanterns. This was also new in, which was like a very rustic beige candle holder, along with this tea light holder, which I suppose is supposed to look like a little modern lantern. I think that's kind of what they were going for on that one. It's such a shame that IKEA only do these vases in small and in the black glass. I've just bought the clear one that is larger that I know loads of you guys have asked me where it's from. I managed to find that in TK Maxx, but unfortunately, if you do want something nearer to it, IKEA do do that black vase that I just showed you. I also spotted these faux plant tiles. So if you're doing your garden this year, then this might be a good idea. There are five pounds a tile, but they were really nice textures and really good quality 
fake plants because sometimes you can get really not great ones. So heading into the final section which is the outdoor living for IKEA 2022. This is basically the spring and summer range. So they had they had more than I was expecting, I'm gonna say. They have this leaning parasol. They did also have the sun lounger and then you can buy the cushions separately. They had a few benches and a few tables, but honestly, I don't know if I would head straight down to Ikea if I was in need of garden furniture. Like the parasol here is 40 pounds. I think I'd sooner head to the range. However, I absolutely loved this chair. It was 75 pounds, does that say? But it was a really nice texture. This storage box as well, really huge but obviously expensive as you can see this was a really nice outdoor set as well it was very different but that two seater is 500 pounds and then the single seater itself was 275 it was very good quality but i just feel like that is very steep Finally, the last pit stop is the circular hub where I had a little mooch to see if there was any good bargains to be found. And my goodness, this was the best trip I've had so far. They had the rising desk, which was on a 30% discount. They had loads of lighting. That lamp I showed you earlier, which is usually 50, was down to 35. And I'll just let you watch the rest because honestly, I may have picked up a few bargains. Stepped into my life, such a magic feeling. We tore down my walls. I wish I could go back to right before you told me I'd try to change it all. But look at us now, I could have gone so far. It hurts to realize we're parted. Yeah, look at us now, this is who we are. And I just know things will never be the same We're like strangers again, again, again Strangers again, again, again We're like strangers again, again, again I just know things will never be the same We're like strangers again So that was a great trip. I do need to tie my hair up first before we do anything. Oh, that's better. I definitely need to tan, that's for sure. So that was a very successful trip to Ikea. A bit more successful than I was anticipating. I had a little list of bits and bobs that I needed to get. Uh, but I kind of exceeded that. So we're doing a little bit of an Ikea haul at the end here. I mean, of course we would. Generally though, I was impressed with what was in store this spring. I like to cover Ikea four times a year on this channel. So Christmas, spring, summer, and autumn, because they tend to come out with their like new ranges and things. I went on the Ikea website. I seen that they had a lot of the like outdoor living stuff. I wasn't super, super impressed with the like garden furniture and things. A lot of the stuff that I tried to show you guys didn't have prices on it, like that hanging over parasol thing. Uh, and there was just odd bits. I didn't think they had the biggest range and then what they did have that I could see prices on I did feel was maybe a little bit steep for what it is. There was obviously some staples I showed you in store that I've shown you before that are just classics that I absolutely love. And yeah, there was just bits and bobs really. And by the way, we need to talk about it. Uh, that lamb shank is very underrated. I mean, I know we're all about the meatballs, but just try it next time when you go. It has been such a long day though. I got to Ikea at like, I think it was 12, 30, one o'clock. It is now 5, 36. So I was there a long, long, long time. I did pop in and see my nan on the way back, but let's get into what I picked up from Ikea. I have got a bunch of stuff to go through with you guys. So of course the first thing I picked up is one of the fed fedchkas, I think they're called. Yeah, Fedjka. Uh, this was five pounds. I've already got one or two of these guys, but I just wanted this for my spare bathroom. I've already got another pot as well. I can't remember where I actually put it. I was using it as like a pen holder and then I just was over it. So I only picked up the regular plant without the pot, but this was five pounds. I really like 
this eucalyptus style and the most important thing is I really like the colour of the green. It's a very like sage green. Uh, so yeah, this is like, I mean everyone's got a fedge like, if you've been to Ikea, you've bought a fetch cut. I then picked up, because I've seen so many people say about these bags, it's actually this bag that I'm carrying here. So I showed you in store, but these are called the Dimpa, and these are £3 a piece, and honestly guys, they are fantastic. So I watch like Tony Interior and she's currently, she was moving, unfortunately she's not moving now, but I've seen when she stored away her clothes. She stored it in one of these and it just looked fantastic. So I thought I'm gonna pick up one for when I change over my wardrobe because at the moment I have um, like a massive storage tub, which is great, but it's not ideal for like storage because obviously it's big and bulky and structured, whereas these are bendable, so they're like more malleable and they can fit in better places easier. So I picked up two of them. I got this one and this one. They only come in the regular black and clear, but to be honest, I probably would have picked that. And they are like zip up as well, so they're just fantastic for storage. And then the last boring item that I did need to pick up is just some of the Istad um, Ziploc bags. These are the best Ziploc bags there are. They're fantastic. I'm running out of these ones So I picked them up. They were £3.50. I then spotted these which are a couple of salad Like scoopers and I actually have been looking out for a set of these. This was only £3 I think or £3.50 uh, maybe even £2.50. I did show you in the video. Anyway, ended up picking these up. I thought they were the best value. I spotted some in Asda yesterday when I went in, but I think they were about £5 or so, and these look really, really similar. So I just picked these up for now, and I thought they were really nice. I do, I was tempted to get the giant salad bowl that I imagine would go with these, but I didn't know if the wood was exactly the same, and the problem is with those sort of bowls, they're so annoying to store because they're just absolutely huge. Now on to the bigger items that I didn't necessarily anticipate that I was going to buy. So the first thing that I actually went in store for, I've been waiting for this to come back in stock literally for months since my last Ikea video. Because when I went to Ikea last time I bought the lampshade that looks like this, I'll just put it on the screen, I can't remember the name. I wanted it for this room because as you can see I've got touches of like pampas, I thought that that sort of um, the, the seagrass style would look nice in here. It really just, it did not go well. So I knew exactly what I wanted. I wanted a Hearst style light. And I've seen a really beautiful one, obviously like on the White Company, and I have seen other ones that have actually got glass panels. I love that. Maybe I will get that in the future, but you're looking at over a hundred pounds. And I just think for my beauty room, like in all honesty, I am not in here a long time. I come in here to film and do my makeup and then I go. I don't really spend time in this room. Whereas like the uh, dome style chandelier lights that I got for our bedroom, I felt that was more justified. Even though they were expensive, I felt that they were more justified because we're in that room a lot and I spend a lot of time in that room. So for this room, I found a Hearst style light on Ikea months and months ago, but it's been sold out for ages and it's this one. So it's called the Felisk. Felisk light um and by the way I literally feel like I look so haggard I'm so I'm so tired um but the Felisk light now this only comes in black uh which is a shame because as you can see I don't have any black yes I do have that stool I probably could get away with it but I don't want a black lamp pendant so this was 27 pounds um my plan is to spray paint it. Now, it is metal framed, uh, and it has got the, the row bit that goes on the ceiling, and then it has got the wire. Now, I have no concern about spraying this bit, but the wire and the bit at the top, I don't know if it's gonna work. I think I'm gonna give it a, give it a go for 27 pounds or whatever it was. Let me get it out of the box to show you. I did show you in the video, but I'm very curious to see what it will be like in the room. So, yes, it does come with the wire. Possibly I could maybe buy another wire. Oh, that is so ugly. Mm, that's a shame. I wasn't saying the light was ugly. I was saying that this big plastic thing, like that is a lot bigger than I anticipated. It's also plastic, so I don't know how that's gonna work. But this is the actual light, which it, this itself, I really, really like. Uh, no problem. Oh, the wire is material. Hmm. Again, it's one of those things that it would, the spray paint would stay on there and it would stay on the plastic. I mean, at the end of the day, it's not being, at the end of the day, it's not being physically touched. 
but the spray paint I've got is for furniture. So I don't, I don't know, I don't know. Anyway, this is what the light is. I love it. Um, yes, I really want it in this room. I really don't want it in black. Could I get away with just having this spray painted? Either I was gonna spray paint it white or beige. Um, I have got a lovely beige spray paint that I was thinking of trying it, but white I think might look the best. Anyway, this is the light. And then I was just gonna buy like whatever bulb, but I've seen this and I seen it in the demo with like the display model that they had these really awesome like signature style bulbs. So if I try and get this to focus, I mean the ring light is absolutely, this is not gonna work. I hope you guys can see that. But this is the bulb here. It is ginormous. So this was nine pounds for this bulb. I originally bought it for our downstairs lamp, but I just thought like that in there is such a signature piece. And then altogether that's less than 40 pounds for, for this. You know, it's actually really, really affordable. So. I thought I'd give it a go because it should pay off and look really, really nice. I think I can make it work. We'll keep, we'll, we'll be good, it'll be fine. And then as you've seen, I headed into the circular hub. I love the circular hub. I think it used to be called the like bargain corner or something. It, it used to, it's always been there in Ikea. I'm not gonna lie, every single time I've been to the circular hub, I don't have high hopes. Like there's always rubbish. However, on this occasion, when I was in the market for a light, um, there was loads. There was loads of lights that were in the sale. I think I filmed it, but there was literally like this light here, which is usually really expensive. I did think about buying that, but I just knew that that rattan was not gonna work because the seagrass didn't work in here. So I, I did give that one up. Wouldn't go anywhere downstairs either. However, I did pick up the light that I said I really liked in the um, video, which I couldn't believe was in the circular hub. So I picked up the Sol Clint. Sulk, Sulklint, the Sulklint light. Now, again, this one's gonna need a little bit of DIYing uh, because I loved the ribbed glass effect of it, but I wasn't a huge fan of that bit of gold. Basically, that little bit is gold. And then the actual glass is like a smoked glass. So again, I'm not sure if it's gonna work because like that goldy brass and the, the black is just not in my theme. But I actually wanted this either for this room, I was gonna try and see which one this would work better in, or our guest room because I'm starting to sort of eyeball and get things for that room so I eventually can slowly build it up and then we can do it all in one go and a makeover video rather than going out and buying everything in one whack. So yeah, I thought it was a really classy light. As you can see, it was reduced. It was actually 32% discount, so it used to be 22 pounds and it was down to 15 and that's why I bought this. Another great thing about the circular hub is, and I did check with the staff, the everything still is returnable even though it is like um, obviously discounted and stuff, you are still allowed to return it. So I made sure to check that because I might end up returning one of these things. Yeah, so as you can see, one of the pieces there is that like brass metal, but again, I've got metal spray paint, so I can definitely spray paint that um, silver or white or whatever. And then here is the actual light itself. So it is black, but you know what? Even in here, I'm like, that is beautiful. I don't think I could have it in my beauty room though because I need maximum light in here. So I kind of need the exposed bulb, but I think that that would look super, super classy in the spare bedroom. So pick that one up. I'm actually really, really happy with it. Again, it's got this horrible plastic ceiling row thing. Although that literally is just a plastic thing that goes into the ceiling. I could probably use the ones that are already here. Hmm, fingers crossed. I'm sure I'll be able to DIY it. Anyway, 15 pounds. Amazing. And then the final item I picked up, I also got from the Circular Hub, and this was the only one that was there, so I'm so happy I found it. I showed you guys originally when I went into the lights, the just regular light shades and nothing special, but I really liked the look of the giant oversized um, basic straight linen shades. I thought that they were beautiful. They were really, really nice and they were really affordable. Um, they were, I think, like anywhere between 13 and 15 pounds. Anyway, I went into the Circular Hub and they had one that was there. So this is called the Ringsta lampshade and this one's in white. It's 42 cm in diameter, so it's a really big one. And as you can see there, it was reduced down to eight pounds from 13. So it was on 35% off. 
And I checked with the guy because I was like, just to check, like, what is this stuff? Is it potentially broken? Is it, you know, potentially smashed or whatever, like, or damaged? And he was like, no, the items themselves are, like, quality checked. If there is any, like, damage, it'll be written on a sticker on it. But nine times out of ten, everything here is just damaged boxes or something that's been returned for no good reason, just change of mind. So I was like, I'll give that a go. Oh, sorry, it was £8.50, not eight pound. This is what it's looking like. Now, I did wonder how they got such a big thing in such a small box. It's basically just a lampshade like this. I'm going to put it now in the downstairs um, front kitchen, so I'll take an overclip and put it here for you. But I think it would just look great on its own. I mean, it's just a simple piece. It was £8.50. I liked how oversized it was, so I thought I would give it a go. So guys, that is everything that I picked up at Ikea on this trip for spring 2022. I hope you all enjoyed. I know these Ikea videos are very well received and you guys like seeing Ikea hauls. I wish that they did more higher turnover, so I wish that they had more items more often. That's why I don't go back so often because it's a lot of the same stuff. But if you are interested in seeing what is new in Ikea seasonally, then make sure you hit that thumbs up button to let me know you enjoy these videos. Subscribe and hit that notification bell to make sure you don't miss any of the uploads. If you also want to follow me day to day, then my Instagram is bellabambinaxx. And as you guys know, if you're watching an Ikea video, you probably are into interior and home. So go ahead and head on over to my Bella Bambina home account as well. I really appreciate a follow on there. I'm trying to grow massively. And you guys have just followed me on the progress of this house since day dot, basically. So if you've been with me this entire time, thank you so much for spending some time with me. I hope you've enjoyed the video and I will see you all in my next video. Stay beautiful. Ciao.